Hello. It's uh, spooler box time again. A uh, bit of a grey day, so the lighting's not great, but I'm not going to wait for some sunshine before I open this. So uh, let's get stuck in. Do the. Uh, Sounds very satisfying. This is the. I'm forgetting what month one. This is May box 105. Uh, Ooh, this looks fun already. Let's get that out of the way. Oh, we'll look at the scene in a minute. Oh, be more Bob. Oh, that feels. That feels quite flimsy. Same as last month, I'm just imagining things. I thought it felt a bit thinner. Uh, a white card, why is it in plastic? Why do we need, is it not a pad? Is it just, oh, loose sheets, okay. 250 GSM smooth, feels quite nice. Don't say acid free or anything on there. Any more information on the back? Nope. Hmm. Maybe it'll have more information in the zine. Mm. It's not a problem. I do prefer a pad because I'm not good at keeping things together. Use this by Corp. Oh, teaching people to draw with marker pens. I think that's uh, a bit of a clue, isn't it? Can be found drawing and painting worms with eyes, arms, and feathers. It's <laughs> quite cool. Um, it's a fun bit. What do you have in here? Oh, Ooh, cherry cola flavour refresher. That's a uh, different one, usually lemon or raspberry. I know if someone will like that. Oh, this is an interesting selection of Posca colours. Dark brown, black, ivory. Oh, that's not even white. It's like a cream colour. Uh, red wine, navy blue, and a pro marker, cool grey. Hmm, one and a sticker. Which bit's that from? Oh, here, it's the arm. Right. That tissue paper. A little look at the zine and then we'll swatch these pens. Um, no, it doesn't say if it's acid free or not. It's usually it would say if it was but, um, QR code for more information shake to wake yeah won't make you watch me do that uh, school artist it's always a fun read uh, school of tips this is about putting them in a palette Ooh, looks like you'd make some nice colors different um, Yeah, shapes. Can't think of the right word. Activate, let it dry, mask it. Uh, deep dive paint pens. Plant pot warm up. Oh, this is fun. Little like step by step. I have a go at that. Oh, it looks like they're doing it on the box or something. Oh, it just says brown paper shopping bag. Of course, we can't use the box anymore because it's got it's all very fun but it makes it harder to uh, sort of put this to use and some brown paper somewhere I think we might have got some in a box one point actually um, artist's advice it must be his book oh. oh and the school of the gallery this was from the Pentel Pens of Hidden Gems who's in here Uh, 
gives you locks. I don't think I recognise many of these names. I recognise Art by Tracy. I think I liked that on Instagram. Um, hmm. Very cool. This one's awesome. Better look at some of these. Oh, wow, didn't even see this one a bit. Oogleburt. <laughs> That's very cool. Um, I think I might know someone who's on the next page. Uh, there I am. Uh, who else? Caroline. Oh, Julie Spriddle. Recognise that name too. Um, if anybody notices the error in this, that's my fault, not scroller boxes. I. Uh, I was using my phone to reply to their message and it auto-corrected something. So, um, it was missing a word there. Enabled me to do just that. But that's my fault, not school of boxes. Um, so yeah, that was a very nice surprise. It made my day when they messaged me about that. I love this one. Look at all the detail. Um, well, and this one, actually, there's... And how they've got that texture in the back, it looks amazing. Uh, a rise of an icon, Tosca. Oh, some. Oh, from the school of, school of sketches. Oh, this is very cute. Any names I reckon? Oh, Paul Bainbridge. Recognise that name. Very nice. Um, off the wall is the prompt for this month. We're taking you off kilter with this month's challenge as inspired by a featured artist Corp, K-O-R-P. Embrace the wild, weird and wonderful inside you to incorporate your personality traits into a kooky cartoon version of yourself. Take these supplies off the wall and into your sketch pad or scroller box to create your own character design. That's quite fun. Um, I'm going to pause now while I activate all these pens because that's no fun to watch um, and I'll be back in a second to swatch them. Right, I'm back. Um, I didn't activate this black one because I already have one exactly the same, I think, yep. Um, and there's no point having two activated, I don't think, it just dry out. So let's get into this card. Um, This is the black one. Oh, maybe I should have activated the other one. This one feels a bit... Oh no, just needed a bit of, uh, bit of love. And this one's dark brown. It's a very dark, muted colour palette. I quite like. I wonder how easy it's going to be to get um, variation. Navy blue. Might have to get a palette out. Use the handwriting. Yeah, I see it's a, a sort of off yellowy, off white ivory. Uh, I'll just give this a what do we what nibs do we get? Oh, oh that's a nice little brush marker. I was expecting a bigger bigger tip, but it's, oh, it's quite quite firm. You get a huge, it's not like a soft brush tip, but it's still get a bit of variation. Oh, and a chisel, it's always an absolutely massive chisel. So it's more like a sort of pointed bullet nib, I think, rather than a brush. Uh, I guess it's a pro marker, not a brush marker. What's this cool grey? I just read that three times. So, 
they do a bit more clear which is which when they're dry you can see um, yeah. I'm not the best with uh, paint markers but let's see what I can do um, how that looks on top of there More shaky, maybe. Does it go on top of this? Okay. Yep. Mm, very nice indeed. It's quite a fun prompt as well, so I'll have some fun with this, I think. So that is the scroller box for this month, and I will be back at some point with the to do the challenge. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, see you again soon.